Well, hello there and welcome. This is Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a good week. Today I'm sharing in a video my love for the Tim Holtz glass media mat. I've wanted to do a video on this glass media mat for some time now and I'm finally getting around to it. This media mat has become a staple in my craft room. In fact, I have a few in different spots in my craft room because I find it to be a must-have tool. In today's video, I'll share all the reasons that I think it's a must-have and why it's a great work surface for any crafter. I had been searching for the perfect work surface and I'm glad to have finally found it. So this is the glass media mat. It is made from tempered glass with nice smooth edges. The grid is printed on the back of the glass so you don't have to worry about it wearing off. The entire mat is 14 inches tall by 23 inches wide. I'm really pleased with this size. It seems to be just big enough to kind of create an area in which I can work. And here is a typical card size, a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. So you can see the size relative to that. There are feet on the back of this glass mat, which I think is great because it makes it easy to pick up. You can also see that there's nice rounded edges, nothing sharp. And as I mentioned, all the printing is on the back of the glass, so you don't have to worry about anything scratching off. You can see the clear markings on here, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. But I'm very happy to have a black work surface. I like to work on black, and now I have something that can withstand any kind of crafting that I want to do. So you can see there are two areas on this glass mat with different markings. On the left you have the assembly area, that's what I call it. It's the black grid area and it measures 12 inches tall by 14 inches wide. And the grids are very helpful when you're assembling your project. This is what you see in all of my videos. I zoom in to this area. There is the other area on the right hand side, the white area. And this is what I call the inky area. Whenever I have inky stamps or paints that I want to mix or inks that I want to paint with, I do that over on this surface. Because it's white, I can see the true color and I know the ink is there. This area is seven and a half by 11 inches. Now the glass media mat also comes with a removable craft sheet. Now there are three big advantages to this particular non-stick mat. One is that it's white, so anything you put on it, like inks or paints, will stay true color. The other is that the back side of this craft sheet has silicone, so it stays put when you put it on your glass mat. And the third advantage is that it's perfectly sized to fit over the inky area on the glass mat. So this is a really nice option to have, but I'll be honest with you, I'd seem to do most of my mixing on the glass itself, but if you like the craft mat, there are replacement ones available. Just keep in mind, you don't want to use anything like alcohol ink on it, or it might stain it. Let's talk a little bit more about the grid. Each of these squares is one inch, which makes measuring very easy. You can also see there are inch markings and centimeter markings along the edges. Now there are two ways you can measure along this grid. On the bottom side and on the left side, it starts at zero and goes up. So on the side, it goes from zero to 12 inches. On the bottom, it goes from zero to 14 inches, with zero being in the bottom left corner. So here's a closer look. You can see the measurements there. And here you can see how easy it is to place something in the corner and get whatever measurement you need. Now along the top of the grid and on the right side, we have markings for centering. So right there in the center is the zero mark and it works its way out. And then you can see the same on the right side. So if you don't really want to spend much time measuring, but you need help with centering, this is a good option. And I like that there are the two bold lines, vertical and horizontal, to show you where the center point is on the entire grid surface. And again, this black area, this grid area, is the area that you see me use when I film all of my videos. So I've been using my glass mat for several months now, and I just love it. And there are some accessories available that I'll be honest, I keep forgetting to use, but I thought I'd show it to you today and I'm hoping to start using them more. In addition to the glass media mat, you can get the media tool set. The tool set includes these two pieces. One is this scraper. 
that can be used to scrape off anything that's dried on here, such as glue or acrylic paint. But I found everything comes off very easily with just a dry cloth or with a little bit of water. But it's nice to have that option. Also in the media tool set is this straight edge. This piece is designed to work with the media mat. One side is beveled so you can use it as a straight edge to like use a marker or a pencil. The other side has a little bit of metal so it's perfect if you want to use it as a cutting edge. There's a ledge over on the left that you can see my finger on and you put the ledge right up against the side of the glass mat. Then you can be sure that it is a straight edge. Again, one side would be for cutting, the other side would be for a pencil or pen or whatever. I also find that it's handy just to make sure something's straight. You can use that along with the grid line in the background to make sure you're adhering things straight on your card or positioning things just right. I don't know about you, but I can use all the help I can get in getting things straight, so this is handy to have. So if I had to pick one thing that I liked most about this glass media mat, it would be that I can use some of the tough stuff on it. Any work surface I have tried in the past had some things that didn't work with it, some drawbacks, but I find that this mat doesn't have that. And one of the biggest ones is that I can use my heat gun on this glass media mat and not have to worry about anything. Most of the work surfaces that I've used in the past, I've had to be careful with heat when working on it. But with this, I can lay my paper down, do my heat embossing on it, and not have to worry about the work surface. This is a huge advantage for me, especially since I like to use a really powerful heat gun that does really good heat embossing. You can also use your hot glue pen on here, anything like that. So another advantage of this glass media mat is you can use your basic craft knives on this mat. So if you like to cut with a craft knife, that is an advantage. To be honest with you, I don't use my craft knife much for basic cutting, so I haven't really tried that out. I do know that this is tempered glass, which is supposed to help with avoiding like scratches on the surface, and I have looked mine over very closely. I've used it for many months, and you know I, I'm pretty tough on my work surface, and I don't have a scratch on mine. So I'm really happy with how well it's held up. Another great thing about this work surface is I can use my glues on it. I can let my glue dry on it and easily scrape it off. I'm messy when I craft, so that is a huge advantage for me. Next, I wanted to show you some of the fun things that you can do on a glass surface. I actually have used a glass surface off screen for many years, so I'm happy to be able to use it on screen with the grid now. Now one of the great advantages of glass is that you can put your inks or your markers or your paints directly onto the glass and the glass won't absorb it so you won't have your inks or your markers drying quickly. So you can mix colors, you can do all your different inking techniques on it. And in this white area, you have true right behind it and it almost looks like the ink is glowing on the surface. So you can really find what color you truly are mixing or working with. And of course, it easily wipes away. Now I did wanna show you a comparison between working on the glass and working on that craft sheet, the nonstick mat. When I put ink onto the craft sheet, you can see it beads up. But when I put it on the glass, it doesn't. So say I'm trying to put some marker onto my work surface so that I can pick it up with a water brush, you can see more of it goes down onto the glass. However, there are some fun techniques that you can do with the beading on the craft mat, so it's good to have also. But these are the kind of things that you can keep in mind about the difference between the two work surfaces. I find that mixing inks and doing inking techniques on the glass really works well for me. There you can see what it looks like when you add water. On the craft mat it beads up, but on the glass it kind of spreads out evenly. In my videos, you see me doing these inking techniques directly on the black area. You can do it wherever you want. Just the advantage of the white area is you can see the colors better and you can kind of designate it that area as your inky area. You can do all the painting you want, then you can wipe it clean or spray it with some water and then dip a piece of watercolor paper into it and create a quick inky background. That way none of the ink goes to waste and you can create some backgrounds very quickly. 
But again, you can just wipe it with a dry cloth or with a little bit of water if you want to. Now another great advantage of using glass is when you're doing ink blending. I know that some people struggle with ink blending and how to get good results. Well, here's a tip. If you're working on a glass surface, you don't have any resistance. I start with my inking tool off of the paper, so therefore on the glass surface. Then I slowly work my way onto the paper, using a light hand and building up color. You can see how smoothly that color went on when working on the glass surface. And I have that ink there that I can pick up with a little bit of water and a background paper if I want to use it. Now if I'm working on a craft mat, there is a little bit of resistance because there's that texture to the craft mat. You can still get good inking results, but I find be that the glass is very smooth, so the blending goes a bit better. So if you struggle with blending, I would give glass a try. Now you can even use alcohol inks or alcohol markers such as Copic markers on this glass mat. Now one of the tricks that you can do with Copic is say you have a light marker and a dark marker and you want them to blend together. You can touch the tips to get a medium shade. Or here's another option. You can scribble the darker color onto your gl glass mat. Then use the tip of the lighter marker to pick up some of that color and help with the blending. This doesn't damage the tips of your Copic markers, but it really is handy to put that darker color onto your glass mat so you can pick up as much of the color as you can to help with the blending. So the best part about this is you would think that it might be tricky to get that Copic marker off the glass work surface, but all I needed to do was spray it with a little water and rub it with a dry cloth and I was able to clean it up easily. Now I'm a big fan of alcohol inks. And now I do all of my alcohol ink projects on this glass mat. I don't have to worry about anything. I can squirt colors on there. I can mix them up. I can do anything I want. And the great thing is, is I can easily clean this up. Now I wiped it with a baby wipe or with a paper towel here, and you can see the hot mess I have. But when I spray it with water, I'm able to wipe it up easily. So I thought I'd mention cleaning on this. In most cases, I either use a dry cloth or I use a little bit of water with a dry cloth. However, if you have anything like maybe some alcohol inks that won't come off with that, just use a little hand sanitizer or you can use like some alcohol wipes and you'll be able to remove anything that you need to. If you have acrylic paints, again, you can wipe them up or let them dry and just scrape them off with a little scraper. I personally haven't found anything difficult to remove from this glass mat. Now, I also wanted to show you two other perks that I've discovered while using the glass media mat. One is I like to use little gems and pearls. And I used to put them in this little bead tray because it's easy to pour them back into the little container. However, sometimes I just like to pour the gemstones onto the, my work surface so I can sort through them and find what I want. Well, check this out. Because there's a little ledge on the side of your glass mat, you can put a little tray or a piece of paper up against the ledge, scoop all of your little gemstones that you don't need into it, then you can easily put them back into the container. Having the ledge on the side has really been handy. I feel like I can kind of designate the craft mat as the area where I'm going to work, and everything around it is where everything else goes or gets shoved, but having this ledge really is helpful in picking up little pieces like this. Okay, another advantage that I found is when using my Misty stamping tool. I didn't really expect this, but this is the coolest thing. When I am just stamping an image, say this, and I need to ink it up. Look at when I open the Misty door, the stamp ends up over the white area. So I can ink it up and see that I've covered it completely with ink before I close it and stamp it. So it just happens that the door opens onto that white area, which is very helpful. So there is a look at the Tonic Tim Holtz Media Mat. This has really been a great work surface for me, really an answer to all my crafty prayers. I wasn't sponsored or asked to do this video. I just find that this is a great tool, and I wanted to share with you the reasons why. And honestly, after many months of using it, I can't find any disadvantages to this product. Now, I will add any additional thoughts that I might have missed in my description below, along with links to these products. In the middle are a couple other videos you might like, 
I appreciate you spending time with me. We'll see you again soon and have a great day.